Hi kiddos, it's Riley, and I am back today with another Adri video for you all. Today is going to be another story video, and I will be reading The Best Gift of All, a book about generosity. This is a Jim Henson's Muppets book. I picked it up at a thrift store, and I have not read it yet, so I am very excited to be sharing it with you. Let's get started. Kermit, you won't believe what I saw on Elm Street this morning, said Skeeter as the two friends walked home from school. What was it? asked Kermit. Come on, she said excitedly. I'll show you. Suddenly, Skeeter dashed up the street. Kermit couldn't imagine what Skeeter's surprise was. It must be pretty neat if she's in such a hurry, he thought. Hey, Skeeter, called Kermit. Wait up. As Skeeter turned the corner, Kermit scrambled after her. When Kermit rounded the corner, he saw Skeeter standing in front of Wallaby's pet store. Her smiling face was pressed against the store window. Kermit joined his friend and gazed into the pet shop window. Staring back at him were three adorable, fluffy little creatures. What are they? he asked. Guinea pigs, explained Skeeter. Kermit had seen lots of guinea pigs in school, but none had ever looked like these three balls of fur. Mr. Wallaby says these are the Peruvian guinea pigs, continued Skeeter. They're very rare. As Kermit and Skeeter watched, Mr. Wallaby carefully lifted one of the animals out of its cage. He took a red toothbrush from his shirt pocket and gently brushed the animal's fur. When the animal wrinkled its nose, Kermit giggled. The two friends walked home together from the pet shop. Skeeter told Kermit her plan. When Scooter gets his parakeet, my mom said I could have a pet too. Now I know what I want. Tomorrow is Saturday. In the morning, I'm going back to buy one of those guinea pigs. After he left Skeeter, Kermit kept thinking about those cute little guinea pigs. Kermit didn't have any pets. Once he'd had some tropical fish, but they hadn't lived very long. As he reached his house, Kermit made a decision. He wanted one of those guinea pigs too. He would ask his parents that night. Kermit's parents said yes, and so the next morning, Kermit went up to the attic. Behind a box filled with his baby toys, he found a very old cage. My guinea pig will love this, he thought. Kermit cleaned the cage, then he took an old newspaper, tore it into tiny strips, and he carpeted the bottom of cage with a layer of newspaper. After lunch, Kermit walked to the pet shop. When he arrived, there was only one guinea pig in the window. I guess Skeeter isn't the only kid who bought one this morning, he said to himself. Kermit hurried inside. Mr. Wallaby gathered the things Kermit would need. He attached a special water bottle to the side of the cage. Then he handed Kermit a bag filled with little green food pellets. He also gave Kermit a booklet about caring for his new pet. Finally, he placed the last guinea pig in Kermit's cage. I think I will call you Widget, Kermit said happily to his new pet. Mr. Wallaby rang up the sale. Just as Kermit was handing him the money, the pet shop door opened and in walked Skeeter. I'll be with you in a moment, young lady, said Mr. Wallaby. Skeeter looked at Kermit and the furry little guinea pig, and then she looked in the window. Where are the other ones? She asked Mr. Wallaby. I sold them first thing this morning, he replied. Sorry. Then I guess I won't be buying anything after all, she said sadly, and walked out the door. Kermit stood there, stunned. So Skeeter hadn't gotten a guinea pig after all. Kermit didn't know what to do. He really wanted Widget, but he also wanted his friend to be happy. Finally, he placed his cage on the counter. I'll be right back, he told Mr. Wallaby. Kermit dashed after his friend. He caught up with her as she was about to cross the street. Skeeter, what happened? He asked. I thought you were going to buy your guinea pig this morning. I had to run some errands with my dad, she explained. I figured I had lots of time. I guess I was wrong. Kermit thought about how happy and excited Skeeter had been yesterday. Skeeter, I'm so sorry, he said sadly. Don't feel bad, Skeeter said. It's not your fault. Suddenly, Kermit knew what he had to do. Come with me, he told his friend. Back in the store, Kermit explained everything to Mr. Wallaby. Skeeter saw the guinea pigs first, he said. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even know about them. So if it's all right with you, I'll take my money back and you can sell Widget to Skeeter. Mr. Wallaby gave Kermit his money back and Kermit gave Widget to Skeeter. You can have my cage too, Kermit told her. 
Skeeter hugged Kermit. I know you really wanted that guinea pig. Thanks for giving it to me, she said happily. After paying for her new pet, she rushed home. Kermit felt a little sad as he watched Skeeter and Widget go, but he remembered the smile on Skeeter's face, and that made him smile too. Young man, said Mr. Wallaby, that was a very generous thing to do. As time passed, Kermit felt better and better about his decision. He was proud of himself for doing something generous, even though it had been difficult to do. It was a month later when Skeeter called. Kermit, she said, come over right away. I've got a surprise for you. When Kermit arrived at her house, Skeeter took him to see Widget. And there, cuddling with her, were three baby guinea pigs. My mom says I can keep one baby, said Skeeter. If you still want a pet, I'd like you to have the other, she said. Really? said Kermit. Really? said Skeeter. You did something very special for me, Skeeter went on. I want to give you something special in return. Thanks, Skeeter, Kermit said happily. But you already have. Getting these guinea pigs is great, but letting you have Widget actually made me feel really good inside, and that's the best gift of all. The end. That was a really cute story. I liked that a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. As always, if you liked this video and want to see more content all about age regression and for age regressors from me, you can subscribe to this channel. I try to post over here a few times a week, but to keep up with me in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I have a Ko-Fi linked down in the description if you want to help support me and my content for just the price of a coffee, but I also have a wish list if you'd rather send me a little gift. I love you guys so, so very much, and I will see you soon. Goodbye! <laughs>